close your eyes and watch your breath. Make the breath comfortable. It's a way of showing goodwill for yourself. After all, here you are breathing all the time. And if you breathe in ways that are uncomfortable, the body is going to be unpleasant. And when the body feels unpleasant, then you're not going to want to stay here. You're going to want, want to run away into the past, into the future, without having any real home. So make this place your home, place where you belong. Knowing when the body needs long breathing, when it needs short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. This is a good skill to master, because then wherever you go, you can take a sense of well-being along with you. When you feel well-being inside, then it's easier to wish for the well-being of others. We live in a world with a lot of difficult people. We're difficult people ourselves. And the best way around those difficulties is to start with a lot of goodwill, wishing for happiness. In other words, you have good intentions, and then based on that you try to develop skillful intentions so that your actions really do lead to happiness for yourself and the people around you. But first make sure you're starting out with good intentions. Goodwill to people close to you, goodwill to people far away, goodwill to people you like, goodwill to people you don't like. And don't ask yourself whether people deserve your goodwill. Remind yourself that you deserve your goodwill. And one of the ways of showing goodwill to yourself is not by treating anybody poorly, being fair, being generous when you can, and always being virtuous, in other words, abstaining from harm. And that way you protect yourself. You don't create the kind of karma that would come back and make you suffer. So it's not so much you deserve your goodwill, you need goodwill. And it's goodwill for yourself and for everybody else around you. Because if there are exceptions to your goodwill, then those are the areas where you can't trust yourself. You want this person to suffer, you want that person to suffer, well you're going to do unskillful things. Then that becomes your karma. Do you want that? Not really. So start out with goodwill. And then be really observant of how you act and speak and think. So your goodwill turns into something really skillful. Your good intentions become skillful intentions. So whatever you do it leads to happiness for yourself, a solid happiness for yourself, and for well-being for others. That way you can live in this world without, without any regret. The time we have here to do good is all too short. So try to make the most of it. This is one of the reasons why wisdom starts with thoughts of goodwill. As the Buddha said, if you have ill will for anybody, that's a wrong view. Not just wrong resolve, it's a wrong view as well. So if you want to live wisely, start with good thoughts of goodwill for everybody around you. And that way you show goodwill for yourself.